Hi guys, it's Lynn here. I hope you're having an amazing day. Now today, I'm going to be propping, propagating the little tiny pineapple top here off the little miniature pineapple that I have got from my pineapple plant. Now this pineapple plant, which is called um, Ananus camosus, is one I actually bought a few months ago from a popular, big popular store here called Ikea. And they have wonderful house plants and we bought quite a few lovely uh, plants here over the following months in the past. And this one I thought was lovely because it actually had the little pineapple growing on it at the time. And it's a little tiny green pineapple here. And um, over the months it's gone nice and yellow and now it's overripe if anything, ready for the harvesting. And I'm going to be showing you how I'm doing it. Now, when it comes to propagating pineapple, it's exactly the same whether you bought a pineapple from the supermarket or whether it's one from your own little plant here. And this is one of really a very small miniature type of pineapple plant. There's also another plant that's growing from the base here. And I'm going to be just showing you the method I'm going to be using to get this to root and um, also how I'm going to be potting it up once it has rooted. Now, just a little bit of bit to, uh, just to say that um, pineapple plants are related to the bromeliard family, um, which is also related to the common tillandsia air plants as well. And we have a few sort of different types of um, bromeliards and that in, in our house. This one is here, we've just got here in our kitchen. We keep it topped up with rainwater in the funnel and we've got sort of air plants, tillandsias all around it as well. We've got some of the tillandsias in the window, but they're all related. And um, as I said, they take moisture also from the air as well. Different with the pineapple, although it's probably yard, does like to be potted up, obviously. And now what I'm gonna be doing with this, as I say, the method is pretty much the same whether you have a, a shop-bought pineapple or it's one yourself. Now this one is gonna be very easy. I'm just going to twist this to take it off. And when I do this, I'm gonna put this, the camera onto the stand. So I've got my hands free. And what I'm going to be doing then is I'm going to be leaving it to callus over for a few days before I then root it in, in water. I'm going to use clean rainwater. And I've got the little cup all ready for when I do put it into the, into the water. And it's important you do let it callus over because if I was to just cut this now and stick it straight in water or straight into soil, there's a good possibility it could rot because as I say, it's important that it is dry and also any remaining fruit is removed. I'm gonna explain that when I do this. If this was a much bigger pineapple, like a big fruit, I'd probably use a knife to cut it and then sort of cut closer and hollow it out. But there's plenty of videos on YouTube from other people who have done how to propagate pineapple. So it's silly me going into explaining that. This is a very small one. It's gonna be very simple for me just to twist it off and do it this way. So um, I'm just gonna put this onto the stand guys and show you what I'm going to be doing. Now what I'm gonna be doing here, I'm just gonna show you is Obviously, this is very, you know when it's perfectly ripe because of the colour of it, this is also very soft. I think this is probably so small, I'm lucky to get a morsel out of it. I'm not actually going to be eating this pineapple because I don't know whether it's been treated with insect sprays and bug sprays and all that while it was in, in the garden centres. Or should say the garden nurseries before before I bought it. I've never used anything on it. I've not had to, but still better be, to be safe than sorry. Plus, it is a little bit overripe, as you can see there. Now what I'm going to be doing is going to be holding it to the bottom. This isn't sharp. If you some fruit can be quite sharp, then I'd recommend wrapping your your hand in a towel or something so it doesn't hurt your hands. But this is this is pretty soft. I'm just going to hold it down the bottom there gently, so I'm not going to squash it. I'm just going to twist, twist it away like that. There you go. And uh, that's the bottom of it. So it's nice sort of clean, clean cut. Now, what I'm gonna be doing then is removing the lower leaves. And as I say, this is the same with all, all pineapples, just gently removing the lower leaves. And this is important because you want to leave a clean surface so it can root. And uh, there's a little bit of a, a node there, which is really good because that's where the roots is gonna come from. So that's good to see that. And um, it is sort of important you remove these lower leaves because even if you're putting it in, in soil and after it's calloused over, um, it can, obviously to put that in water or soil, you're going to have to put it in like that. These lower leaves can rot and it's going to prevent rooting and rot the whole, the whole plant. So it's not going to do any harm by removing these lower leaves here. So I'm probably just going to take it up to about there. And... Uh, it just peels away, a bit like an onion. <laughs> and uh, as I say, it's a nice sort of clean cut here, which is great to see. And so when my thumb is there, that's where I'm going to take it up to. You need to make sure you have at least a couple of um, inches free. 
so you've got enough space then to plant it deep and as I say I'm going to be this it's pretty much dry which is good because if I'd had to made a cut if it was a big pineapple and I had to cut it and then hollow it out and do the same method this way I would have had to have obviously let it dry for probably a couple of weeks certainly a week but this is pretty dry so it means I can probably leave this probably for about just for about three days and then what I'm going to be doing then is putting it into into water I'm going to show you what I'm going to be doing because obviously I'm going to be carrying on with this afterwards I think that's pretty much it that's enough I think for this maybe just that lower one and that's it just a little bit more that's, I don't want to need to remove any more I think that's enough as you can see nice and clean lovely clean and you can actually see there's two little nodes there now it's really important you remove all of the fruit now there's no fruit left on this this is clean and just smelling it yet no signs of um of the smell of the pineapple so that's pretty much great that's is an easy one to do I'm just going to be leaving this then to callus over I'm going to be putting it on onto some dry paper here and leaving it like that and then what I'm going to be doing leaving that for about three days until this is fully formed formed a hard sort of um dry dry crust I should say at the bottom and then I'm going to be putting it up into into water in here and putting it in and then leaving it to root so that's it, I'm going to be leaving this now for a little bit and then I'll show you in three days time. Now that's it, three days later I've let it callous over for three days and as you can see there that is um, completely dry and it's important you do this because if you just cut the pineapple and then put it straight into water or straight into soil it can cause it to rot. So as you can see there that's formed a bit of a callus as they say, a bit of a hard skin. And then I've got the water here. Now I'm using fresh, clean rainwater. But if you've only got tap water, it should be pretty much okay. As you said, I prefer to use rainwater. And you want to make sure then that this is obviously submerged into the water because as you can see there, these two little little nodes at the bottom is where the roots are going to be coming from. And um, also sort of around there. So here we go. That is then going to go in there. Make sure that that is in there. And... Um, I'm going to put this in next to its mother and see how it goes and then I'll obviously I'll do regular updates on when hopefully it roots as I say when it comes to um, getting pineapples to root it is sometimes hit and miss it's one of them things and then there's a big sort of pineapple challenge competition going on here at the moment on YouTube it's pretty big I'm not taking part of it but this is sort of my own little um, my own little experiment <laughs> So guys, have you ever grown from a pineapple top before? And if not, why not give it a go? And if you do, let me know how you get on. As I say, that's where the roots are going to emerge from. And I'll do updates in the future, guys. So guys, thank you so much for watching. <laughs> I want to send you loads of love, heaps of happiness, and tons and tons of plant power as always from across the emerald isle until the next video bye